Okay, um, we're going to do mostly vessels on this cat, but I'll hit some organs as we go along. Uh, so I, we can see the glands on this cat. So if you look in the neck region, right here under the ear, this large gland is the parotid gland. Right. Then right here is the submandibular gland. So you can see it just right along the jawline is the submandibular gland, and there's a parotid gland under the ear. You can't see the sublingual glands. They're going to be inside the mouth under the tongue. All right, once again, too, here you can see the trachea, and there's the esophagus. So let's come here to the heart, and we will look at, um, let's do the veins first. So once again, if you're looking at the thoracic region, here's your lungs, here's your heart. This is the pulmonary trunk, and here's the aorta. If you look over on this side, you can see this very large blood vessel. That's going to be your superior vena cava. If you look up underneath on the other side, down here, this is your inferior vena cava. So superior, the inferior vena cava comes into the right atrium, the superior vena cava also into the right atrium. Now notice this very large blood vessel right here. That's called the azygos vein. It's the first big branch that comes off the superior vena cava. Also notice that you see these blood vessels coming off into the lungs themselves, right? So remember that this one is going to be a pulmonary artery. It's blue because it's carrying deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. This red one is going to be a pulmonary vein because it's carrying oxygenated blood from the lungs back to the heart. Now remember in systemic circulation over here, veins are blue and arteries are red. Opposite in the lungs. Alright, so going back to the superior vena cava, the first big branch is the azygos. If you move up the superior vena cava, this branch is called the internal mammary or the thoracic. Um, so it's kind of, it's a single one coming straight off the top. Then if you go up the superior vena cava, you have a main branch, this big Y. This is going to be the left and right brachiocephalic vein. The brachiocephalic vein comes up here and it branches into the external jugular that goes up the neck and the internal jugular that goes up the neck. So the external is the large one, internal, small, and then the external jugular goes all the way up here, and there's the transverse jugular right across. Now we can kind of come up in here, there's the external jugular comes up here and branches into the mammary, which is right over the cheek, uh, but we can't see that on this shot. All right, so let's go back here to the brachiocephalic. So once again, the brachiocephalic is gonna go into your jugulars going straight up the neck, and then it branches here into the subclavian. So the brachiocephalic branches into the subclavian. The subclavian becomes the axillary. The axillary goes down into the arm and becomes the brachial, but it, it's broken here. So once again, brachiocephalic, subclavian, axillary, brachial. And then right between them, this one right here is the subscapular. No, it's going down into the shoulder. All right? So that you're going to have that same thing on both sides. All right? So once again, subclavian, so superior vena cava branches into the right and left brachiocephalic. The brachiocephalic branches into the subclavian, axillary, and brachial going to the arm. The next branch is the subscapular, and then the one going up to the neck is the external jugular, the internal jugular, and the transverse jugular. All right, so that's the veins. Now if we're looking at the arteries, moving the heart over, you can see this big branch coming right up out of the heart is the ascending aorta. Then it goes around, that's the aortic arch, and then it goes down the back of the heart right here and that is called the descending thoracic aorta. All right, you can also see these vessels going right down in here. Those are just lumbar arteries. They go straight down into the back. You can also see some lumbar veins in there. And that happens all the way down the back to the pelvic region. So ascending aorta, aortic arch, descending thoracic aorta. Right up on the aortic arch you have two big branches. The first small branch is the left subclavian artery. It goes up 
and once it hits the armpit region, it's called the uh, axillary, and then the brachial in the arm. The next big branch, this is the brachiocephalic. There's only one brachiocephalic artery, whereas there's two brachiocephalic veins. So if you look at the brachiocephalic, it branches into the left common carotid artery, the right common carotid artery, and then a little bit further up, I'm going to have to move this back over, right here, there is your left subclavian. So in the arteries, the I mean, this is the right subclavian over here. So the left subclavian comes directly off the aortic arch. The right subclavian comes off the brachiocephalic. So once you get over here, this is the right subclavian artery. It becomes the axillary artery and the brachial down into the arm. Uh, now, if you look here, the first small branch that goes down is the internal mammary or the thoracic artery coming off the um, subclavian here. And I think you can see it right here as well on that side. Now, when you're going on the, um, there are three arteries. This is gonna be the uh, common carotid. If you look right up underneath here, there's three little branches. The first branch, this one right here, is the, is the uh, vertebral, and it goes straight up the neck. The second branch is the thyrocervical, and this third branch is the subscapular. So on the top of the artery coming off the uh, subclavian is going to be the vertebral, the thyrocervical, and the subscapular in that order, one, two, three. The one going down is your thoracic or internal mammary. And so once again, remember that the subclavian just changes names. Once it gets to the armpit, it's axillary, and once it gets down into the arm, it's called the brachial. Same thing for the veins and the arteries. All right, so let's move down into the thoracic cavity. So once you hit the diaphragm, uh, then the aorta becomes now the descending abdominal aorta. So there it is. It starts right up here. It goes all the way down until it splits here at the iliacs. All right, so if we're just looking at our arteries right now, so here is the, right, when it comes through the, um, that opening uh, in the diaphragm, here's the aorta. The very first branch that comes off the aorta is the celiac artery. The celiac comes up here and it branches into the, uh, a number of different arteries feeding the liver, the pancreas, and the stomach. All right, so all of these branches you see are feeding those particular organs. The second major branch coming off the aorta, this big one right here, is the superior mesenteric artery. It supplies oxygenated blood to the small intestine and the upper reaches of the large intestine. The next vessel you will see, this is the adrenal gland, and there's your kidney. So that this little bean is the adrenal gland. You can barely see right here that little uh, red structure and then this blue one right here, that's the adrenolumbar artery, and there's the adrenolumbar vein. So it, it'll be just going right up over that adrenal gland. And then these guys right here, these are beautiful little phrenic arteries and veins. They go kind of from the adrenal gland straight up, and they feed blood to the diaphragm, right? So the phrenics are right there, they're very small. All right, if we move on down, we can see the uh, aorta branching into the renal artery on that side, and there's its pair on that side. And then we go on down again, and this is a male, so this branch that you see right here is the testicular, and it comes around here, and it'll go down to the scrotum right there. Uh, so that's this testicular artery. If this, a, if this was a female, it would go straight out to the ovary, right? But it'll come off the aorta there. Also, if you pull this down, you can see those lumbars. So there's the lumbar artery and a lumbar vein going straight down into the back, coming off the aorta. Then we continue down, and this uh, artery has been popped. It should go right like this, and that is the inferior mesenteric, and it feeds the lower large intestine. All right, then continue down. The aorta branches here at the, this is the iliolumbar artery and vein here and here. 
So adrenolumbar right up here, iliolumbar down here in the lower, and then the lumbar is just straight down the back. So now my uh, abdominal aorta is going to branch into the external iliac artery here and the internal iliac artery here. The external iliac will further branch into the femoral, which goes up the leg, and the deep femoral that goes medial down there. All right, if we're looking at the veins, once again, this is going to be your inf uh, inferior vena cava, right? So the inferior vena cava comes down off the heart. So it'll come down here, and you can see this very large branch, which that's the renal uh, vein. There's the testicular vein. Notice the testicular vein comes off the renal, not off the vena cava. So it'll go out here. Also, you can see your adrenolumbar vein there, and you can see the, the phrenic vein there. If we continue down the inferior vena cava, there's our lumbar vein, and here's the iliolumbar vein. And then here, the inferior vena cava actually branches into the iliacs but the vein has a, an extra branch. We have a common iliac vein, and I'm gonna move this back here. So this is the common iliac vein here and here. And now the common iliac vein, check it out. It branches into the external iliac vein and the internal iliac vein here, and then into the femoral and deep femoral. Right? So in the arteries, the abdominal aorta branches into the external and internal iliac. The external iliac branches into the femoral and deep femoral. In the veins, the vena cava branches into the common iliac vein, then into the external and internal iliacs, and then into the femoral and the deep femoral. Okay, also too, you can notice here we've got the uh, urinary bladder, and here's the urethra. Right? And this is the ureter, right? And it kind of goes from the kidney. This is the ureter that's been broken here, but it'll come right down here. It'll hook up to the bottom of the bladder. Here's the ureter on this side, hooks up to the bottom of the bladder. And then there's the urethra that exits the body. All right, I think that's it.